Hey guys, you're watching the Quins. This is episode number four. My name is Josh Doty. My name is Lance Renierson. Uh, in this segment, we're going to be talking about the new operating system for Apple called Leopard. Which most people know by now because it's been like, what, like hyped up for so long. Yeah, it just came out on Friday. Excellent, excellent. Um, as you can see, Lance has finally got himself a Mac, which I'm very proud of him. He finally did it. And I wish I still had one, but I don't. I'm still uh, going with the old Windows PC. I do have Vista, though, so it's a little bit easier than XP. Some things are a little harder to find, but it's cool being computer guys have like both worlds. Yeah. So now Lance is Leopard. He wants to talk a little bit about that. Yeah, we'll so a little, a little some of the cool things that haven't necessarily been in the mainstream information of what has actually was done with Leopard. Some of the things that we both kind of like little things. Yeah. Well, a couple things that I like that I noticed right off the bat is I, the stacks thing when I first saw it at the keynote, I thought it was kind of neat, especially with downloads, how you wouldn't have to have all that cluttering up your desktop. But one thing that I thought right off the bat is I'll just take a whole bunch of stuff and drag it in here, and I saw that works. And I always had a problem opening my applications because you have to, like, if it's not in my dock, I have to go to the Finder, go to Apps. It just seems like there's too many steps. So now I just grab my application folder, drag it down into the dock, and then when I hit it, it'll fan out all my applications that are in my application folder. Well, that, that's one thing that I really like, too. I mean, I've, nice used, and simple, eh? I've used your computer. I had it dual booted once on my Vista computer uh, and checked it out. And that was one thing that I hated, too, that you always had to go in there, you know, click on this folder, click on that folder, click on that folder, and then you had to choose and pick, like, right. and, and if you didn't want your desktop all cluttered up with every single application that you used on a normal basis, on Finder, then you know, then it was just way too hard, you know. Um, another thing that I liked was the way, this is kind of a simple little thing, but iCal now will display today's date. It used to always no, that be like, retarded. July that was something. something I always used to say. I was like, you know, it's like a really simple thing. Like, you clicked on it, and it always used to say, what, June 30th or something? What was well, before it? it would say, I don't know, July or something. I don't, I don't it was know. like July 30th. But then when you opened it, it would say today. Yeah, yeah, but, but then when you running, closed it, then it, it would, would go, go back, back to, to that. Like, it was just like a an icon, you know, right. actually today. Right. Good. So now, it, which that makes sense because Apple can really do that for all things. Most people, so <laughs> it's just kind of a cool thing that I, I kind of know. It. I mean, it's just like the dock being reflective now. It's just cool. Like, but other than that, uh, pretty much the same. Uh, yeah. Appearance-wise, I mean, it, it's definitely a lot cleaner looking. Uh, spaces is nice having the multiple workspaces. It's kind of a Linux and adaptive feature, but it's nice. Time yeah, machine. I see that in some of the Ubuntu, like uh, Ubuntu yeah. topics. Some I mean, of the programs been around for a while. Spaces. Time Machine's nice. Um, the GUI interface that you've seen and everything's really cool. But all that aside, it actually does really well at backing it up just automatically. You don't have to deal with it. Automatic backup stuff's always been a pain. Now, like, I don't know, like, with Windows, a lot of times it can happen when you do the automatic backup crap, it's a little corrupted. Yeah, the, like you get buy automatic it, backing has like never been like easy. <laughs> this is the first time I've seen it. That's really easy. Another really thing is they really improved Spotlight, and I think that's been mentioned a few times, but never really talked about. It searches so many more things now. Like when you search through here, it searches your bookmarks in both Safari and Firefox. Oh wow! So like if you have something saved and you're like, what was that website? You know, you can just type in the name of it, like guess what it was. Like, oh, I was looking at like a motorcycle on eBay. You type in the name of it. Oh, it'll find it in your contact. Really. Yeah. And so like that it's, that website. it's a lot more powerful now. It's oh, like it'll search it's other computers on the network. Every single as opposed yeah. to just files. And, and then one thing we do have to mention is the new Finder is, is really nice. I really like Quick Preview where you can just hit your space bar and it'll preview what's happening. Videos, pictures, whatever. Uh, yeah. Cover flow Showing that is, it is cool. I really like it. Not so much because it flips and it looks all pretty, but you can actually see like nice, really good you know, covers of what you're looking at. Like. I mean, that's something Windows has had for a long time, like the thumbnail view, that stuff never really worked, inherited well on Mac. Like videos have never had little clip previews and stuff before. Now not only do you have a nice preview, you can hit a space bar and start watching it. I mean, it's just great. Cool. I really like it. Now, what exactly does this run for? Is it 129 dollars It's $129 for that. Yeah. Yeah. It, it ships now, what's like the low, do you know what the lowest version you can upgrade from is? Like, it's not so much the upgrade, but it's the specs on the computer. You have to have a lead gotcha. 800 megahertz. Uh, Power PC 4, but it runs much better on Intel. So and, definitely uh, worth, the money, worth the money, not worth the money? Definitely worth the money. Definitely worth the money. I mean, it, it depends. Like, I think if you're somebody who's already using Mac and you have the specs, this is something you need to go out and get. If, are a lot of people going to buy Macs because of it? Not yet. But are, you gonna, are you going to put Leopard on your iMac as well? Yeah, oh yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. In a couple days, so. Oh, cool. Well, that's our Mac vs. PC version yeah. of the Quims. Check me out, Leopard. Thanks for watching. My name is Lance Renierson. My name is Josh Doty. Thanks for watching the Quims.